Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. And welcome to the channel, The Up Chanel's 48th World, which is my YouTube channel. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos, okay? Do everything you see flashing on that screen, okay? Please do that. That helps me out, okay? It really does. That is my other channel, Make It Make Sense. Go on over there. I do the same stuff over there that I do over here. I just kind of try to pick a younger crowd crowd to um, uh, bring in. But thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my old, all of my new. But, <clears throat> you know, we only be doing just commenting over here. We be comparing and contrasting. We be commenting. We be criticizing. But we damn sure don't be saying it's true, okay? <laughs> so you just gotta, you know, use your own thoughts, okay? And, and, and Listen to what I'm saying and then find some reasoning and some logic in it. If you can't, just keep the hell moving on, okay? <laughs> it was just for kiki ha ha's, all right? But we need to talk about this. Honey, baby, guess who TMZ? I guess it was in New York she was at. Uh, somewhere in New York doing business. I'm not sure, but it wasn't Atlanta. Okay, we're going to be talking about the fabulous, the wonderful, the twirling tornado. Okay, Kenya Moore, the Kenya Moore. All right, she was in, I'm going to say New York, don't know if that's true or not, but she was somehow ambushed with, with one of the uh, TMZ correspondent people. Okay, they was on her ass. They wanted to know why she was here, what she was doing, what we feel about this, that, and the third. And Kenya was like, girl, slow down. <laughs> But it was cute. It was cute. Kenya in, um, entertained her just for a little bit. Gave her some insight on what was going on with her, Mark, and the baby. Okay, or I should say Brooklyn. <clears throat> and uh, she had to throw some stuff out there like, he trying to get a reality show. He on a reality show. He want Brooklyn. He want my permission to get Brooklyn to film with him. I would say, hell to the no, no, no. I was what I would say. said. And I'm like, you know, it's, it's just very odd that he would do some stuff like that when he fought Kenya tooth and nail, uh, trying to keep Brooklyn off of the television show, okay, off of TV. Shoot, she should be making her own money. Kenya should be getting her a tenth of what she gets and, and give it to baby girl. That's when baby girl shows up and shows out. You know what I'm saying? She's just a little, she's just a little grown person. You know what I'm saying? She was just so professional. She was just so old, you know, old thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, the baby got an old mind. So, she's going to be full of wisdom. She's going to be able to drop some wisdom on some people, okay? Probably later on, her mama. <clears throat> but, you know, Kenya's blessed to have her. But, you know, I'm with Kenya doctor. Girl, we, we barely uh, saved you with the first pregnancy. And then, you know, it could have been the baby. It could have been either one of y'all. could have been both of y'all. And the doctor just wasn't... Um, thrilled on the idea that Kenya Thomas, she's going to have another baby. She might well get rid of them ovaries and, and just call it a day. Love on baby with Brooklyn and love on herself and love on other people that she want to bless. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to get into what TMZ uh, was saying, was, you know, talking with her and all that kind of stuff so y'all can uh, get a little lit, um, listen of the year and the little visuals going across the screen. Let's see if we can play it for you all. <laughs> Barbie, oh my goodness, there's so much to talk about. So can you let me ask you about Mark, right? 
fight. You know, he was pretty upset about Brooklyn being present at the fight, you know, scene or whatever. What do you have to say to that? Is that claim, you know, like, is it valid in any uh, It's just sense? trumped up um, because he's now doing a reality show of his own and he needs my permission to have Brooklyn film with him. No way. So it's he's getting into reality TV? Yes, yes. Out of here. I mean, yes. did any part of you kind of feel like, you know what, Mark, you're kind of like jumping on the coattail a little bit? Like, do you like do you feel like that now looking back, maybe? You know, it is what it is. I just would like him to not focus on TV and focus on his daughter. Mm -hmm. That's basically it. I love know? that. Now, more children. I know you want to do that. What do you want to Well, what about the embryos? Um, it's not. It's going to be a pass. After everything, you know, the filing of the charges and all that stuff, I just feel like it's, that was God telling me, don't go there. No way. Yeah. Kim, right? So I know you said that you thought Kim's divorce was not, you know, not real. Yeah. Um, did you see the body camera footage from the police? You know, Corey said, you know, she has a gambling problem. She yeah. said he's suffering from brain trauma. Yeah. How, how does that make you feel? Like, do you, uh, feel like you know, I I wish them well. You know, I, divorce is hard, but when people just start being super nasty like that, it's just, uh, it's hard to witness. But I wish them well. They have kids, you know. And but I, does that make you feel like it's real, kind of, after seeing that? Or do you feel like it still was kind of hurt, kind of generating uh, interest? I feel like with her, you never know. I mean, that's just my honest opinion. With her, you just kind of never know. So, you know, Kim has lied on me many times. So for her, you know, I just have to say, I, you just can never tell what the truth is. One last question. So where are we with this divorce? He's doing reality TV. He might need a storyline. Can we see him dragging it out more? He storyline after he gets a season to sit. You heard a little bit of what Kenya was saying about Mark, about Kim Zosiak and all that stuff. I didn't know she felt that um, the divorce that Corey and her were going through, that Kenya felt it was fake. See, I knew I wasn't the only one. I knew I was not the only one that felt that those shenanigans, those foolery, fuckery, fakery, fraudulently behavior was coming from Kim. And then she's talking. Talking all this negative stuff about him and he talking all that negative stuff about her. 
just to be in the limelight and I don't know. I really don't know what they were doing, but it didn't fool a lot of people. And one of them was me, and the second one was Kenya. We didn't believe that shit. Okay, that was just good for television. Trying to hopefully she was trying to uh, promote uh, her getting another show or something to that degree. But don't nobody want to see Kim in court. Hell, I didn't even watch them uh, on their show Tardy with the Party." I mean, I mean, I don't maybe. Uh, okay, I liked it when Sweet, oh, what name, Sweetie, Sweetie was on there, like chick, and you know I ain't like her being dog, like she was being dog, cause I would have, if I were her, I would like, I'm finna bounce. Okay, you find somebody else to boss around or think they a slave or something, but she was, you know, uh, uh-uh. after that I, mm, I didn't watch Kim. How um, uh, what's her name? <laughs> what is that child's name? Um, uh, Michelle A T Alien. She called it the KKK, Kim, Croy, and Kids. I was like, that's a super way to disguise that. Mm-hmm. I saw through it. I saw through it. Okay. But um, then she said something about Mark. Mark needs to pay more attention to Brooklyn than he does a reality show. Then she talks about a cease and desist. I'm like, can you pull out all the big guns, girl, and get your cannon so you can blow? him away okay because i wouldn't say i drag that i'm like no she can't be in it no she can't uh uh-uh. nope 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 i need to know all the uh the necessities but no 